As the state continues to grow, we are seeing increased demand for our core services, including permitting, inspections, technical assistance, and remediation work. I'm proud of the agency's ability to adapt and meet those demands. We've been asked to do a lot with the existing resources we've had, and it's been difficult, but I've seen successes and I've seen us succeed in ways that I've just been very proud of. The work that we do, either directly or indirectly, impacts um, all of the citizens of the state. I mean, we're kind of a silent presence um, doing our effort and our part to make sure Idaho is safe and clean and amazing to visit and explore and live in. Looking ahead to next year, we will continue to make progress in distributing an unprecedented amount of funding towards um, high priority projects. This includes over 400 million for drinking water and wastewater projects, 31 million for nutrient reduction projects in Coeur d'Alene Lake, 22 million for solid waste projects throughout the state, 10 million for contaminated site cleanup, and 7 million for Triumph Mine remediation efforts. I'm grateful for all of the employees at DEQ that make this work possible. Some of our major accomplishments we had in fiscal year 2023 is we obligated $380 million to 190 communities. This is the largest amount of funding that our program has seen since we're established. We had $1.3 billion requested of us for drinking water and wastewater projects. This work is important to the people of Idaho because we help protect human health, land, and water, and we do it where we can save the communities millions of dollars. We started working with local automotive shops because even though they're small and one automotive shop might not have a significant environmental impact by itself, Combined, they actually have quite a significant impact. The outreach effort was aimed at encouraging automotive shops to adopt safer parts cleaning practices using safer products. If we're replacing those harmful pollutants with this aqueous-based parts washing fluid, the water-based, soapy water, uh, we're expecting that we could potentially reduce up to 16,000 pounds of these hazardous volatile organics um, per year. After 31 years, DEQ celebrated the closure of two container storage pads at the Transuranic Storage Area at the Idaho National Laboratory. The Transuranic Storage Area was used to store approximately 65,000 cubic meters of legacy waste. It's another step in protecting the Snake River Plain Aquifer. We increased the number of completed non-point source projects by 46%. We evaluated 307 sites along Idaho's waterways. We awarded 2.6 million in electric vehicle charging station grant funds. We conducted 140 hazardous waste inspections across the state. 